Astro Boy 1963 Episode 1 Review. Ladies and gentlemen, stop and understand the significance of this. This is the original Astro Boy, okay? This is one of the godfathers of anime and manga. Much of what we have today, the beautiful stuff, would not have, we would have not have had if not for a series such as this. This is ancient, legendary stuff here. Understand that. This version is black and white. That shows you how old it is. But go on YouTube, you can look it up. Astro Boy, Manga Entertainment has it, okay? Crystal clear. But I'll, I'll get to that. Now, will I do reviews of the 1980s version and the 2003 version of Astro Boy? Who knows? We shall see. But right now, let's get into this. Astro Boy Episode 1. This episode was huge. This episode, let me tell you. Let me start off, like I said. The animation. The animation, it was, it was spot on. Understanding the time frame when it was it was quite creative Not the most innovative I've seen at the time, but it was quite creative. It kept to a Classic kind of feel to it with the comedy and the craziness that was going on with um Some of the robots and whatnot seen that with toys and different things and past cartoons and whatever but you know it was pretty fluid for the most part Especially once Astro Boy started learning his uh, his abilities and whatnot. But anyways, so the animation it it was it was some good stuff, some really good stuff. Okay, the um the storyline, of course, is phenomenal. It's a legendary. It's legendary. You know, storyline's phenomenal. And why is it so phenomenal? Let's let's just put it this way. We start off at the beginning of the episode with it. the The whole setting is. The year 2000. Okay, they were off by a little bit, but it's pretty close, pretty good. They were all, uh, it's the year 2000, and this, uh, Anton Bezier, some, I forget the boy's name. Anyway, he's the third, he's the son of a, um, the head of the Institute of Science, okay? And this boy is driving in the car on a, where the highway pretty much, you know, it controls it. And he gets into a terrible accident. He ends up dying. And his father didn't take that too well. His father pretty much goes insane. He just flips. You know. Just not in a good way. He just flips. But he didn't totally flip to, you know, he was still that genius level stuff. So he's like, hey, I got an idea. I'm going to make a robot to replace my son. Okay. So he gets the whole Institute of Science behind him. We're going to build this. Uh, this robot boy with, with, a uh, 100,000 horsepower and make him the most powerful, most advanced robot that's ever been created, right? So, a year later, gear goes by and they complete it. Astro Boy, he awakens <laughs> and the whole da-da-da-da. It, it, it was cool. It was cool, the music in this, uh, episode. So, Astro Boy awakens, as you see in the thumbnail. Astro, well, in that one, he's laying in the state right before he awakens. Anyway, he awakens. And like a child, he had to get his legs up under. And then apparently the years go by, the years go by, and his father's teaching him. Um, and he's like, oh, you're, you're my son, and I'm, I'm your father. Now remember, this guy has, has flipped out, okay? He's gone insane. So his father brings in other dudes. He's teaching him. And Astro Boy, mentally, he's just on that gen beyond that genius level stuff, okay? Because he's a robot with a very advanced mind. And... So he, he's great at, oh, and even when he was asked to uh, make a drawing of apples and oranges, he, he constructed the molecular, the molecular um, chemistry of it. So I thought that was a, I thought that was a nice, addition, nice addition. But anyway, after years go by, his father apparently, his father, his originator, creator, whatever, then apparently taking this in consideration, it's a robot. Robot ain't gonna grow. It's not a human. You can't replace a human. He didn't get that part. So he's pissed off at Astro Boy not going. He's like, oh, why haven't I been a good father to you? Why can't you be a good son, good boy, and grow? Well, again, he's a robot. He's not a normal child. 
anyway, so pretty much at the end of the day, the father kicks him out. And not only does he kick him out, he sells him to this kind of circus entertainer dude, okay? So the circus entertainer dude has Astro Boy, who doesn't want to fight, have to fight in the arena. Now Astro Boy shows strength upon strength. He looked like he was about to get his butt behind whooped. But he, he held his own and eventually won and whatnot. And But the the owner dude that has bought, the circus dude that has bought the... Uh, bottom is like he's pissed off with him he's like because Astro Boy at the end of the day could not kill Zog or Zod or whatever Zok or whatever the other robot was right which I thought was a very very nice play there right very nice very nice you know Astro Boy just wants love and he's a he's a child I mean there, there's that you know we see emotion from him which is which is really cool so they're not just robots I mean these are pretty sentient beings here and so you know, this the circus like, okay, I'm going to deprive you of electricity, you know, pretty much trying to starve him. You can see, that, that guy, he wasn't cruel, cruel, but this guy was not nice at all. At all. Okay, so, he's like, I bought you, 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 you going to do what I say next time. Anyway, so Astro Boy, and he tried to hit him, and I was afraid that it was going to happen. But when he tried to hit him, he freaked, because Astro Boy's made a man, oh, that was great. He tried to hit him. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. Put it that way. Which is cool. Which is cool. And anyway, so... And that was really kind of dumb of him. Because if you really think about it, you just saw this robot kind of just manhandle this giant robot. So, yeah. Oh, and during that, Astro Boy learns how to fly. Cool. <laughs> he, he has, like, rockets on the bottom of his feet. Cool. So, anyways, Astro Boy, after his lecture, whatever you want to call it, with a uh, circus owner dude, he goes and he finds these discarded robots. He's like, he takes pity on them. He's like, you know, we just, we, you know, they're, they're saying pretty much we were thrown away because, you know, you know, you know, we weren't doing what he wanted right, the circus dude. So, it's a bit of cruelty. And Astro Boy trying to be Mr. Hero, Mr. Savo, <laughs> Mr. Hero, you know, trying to save everybody, which was admirable, but at the same time, I like what they did later. So Astro Boy, he gives, he had like 12 volts, he's like, yo, this should be enough for everybody. There was about six of them, and he was charging up everybody. <laughs> that was cool, right? But then an accident happens, because... And this is why I say the, the toy, like, I, I, I remember the animation from back in, like, the 40s and stuff, right? They had the lineup and whatever. But anyways, there was a specific robot. He got, uh, was able to get in the ball and he jumped through this, like, 100,000 or a million volts or whatever of electricity. It's like a, a whole, almost like a net. You, uh, no, a whole, uh, a hoop. Kind of like how Seals jumped through. So he jumped through once he was straight. The second time he got caught and boom, exploded the whole complex. And so the complex is falling and everything. The robots are like, you know, it's our chance to prove we are not useless. And they were saving everybody, saving everybody. Astro Boy doing his thing. He was do, do, do. I mean, he was beastly. And he's like, oh, that one, the one owner dude still stuck up in there. So he, he blitzes up in there and he shows an array of abilities. It's like, the heck? And some great mastery. Like, he's very quickly adapting to his abilities and his body. But the problem is, I knew it was going to happen. Because, look, old school cartoons, they didn't play around. If you made decisions and stuff, you, it was consequences for your decision to make. He ran out of juice. At the end. He did save him, but he ran out of juice at the end. And I guess the next scene we see is the owner dude in... Oh, oh, one important part. There was a dude, the first time Astro Boy fought in a circus thing, you know, the only time that we see anyway, um, there was the new head of the institute. Now, I can't remember none of these guys' names, but it doesn't matter. The, the curly-haired, big nose who sneezes, his gimmick is sneezing when he gets pissed off. The new head of the Institute of Science, because I guess Astro Boy's creator slash father, or should have been father, um... It was no go. He got kicked out, which I'm glad. Anyway, the new the new dude is like, yo, I'm taking Astro Boy. You know, he's he's a genius. You know, he's a masterpiece of science. You can't you can't treat him like this. And the circus owner dude wasn't having it. Anyway, Astro Boy saves him, and we see Astro Boy 
and, and the dude uh, standing next to you know the dude who's trying to claim him, and and then um you know the circus dudes in the bed. He's all badges up and he wakes up. He's like, you know, the the new head of the institute is like, Astro Boy is with us. You, you're giving him back. And the circus owner's dude's like, no, I bought him legally. He sees papers of paper and he's like, okay, apparently you're unaware of the situation. Turns on the tube. 100,000 robots lined up. This is why I say they're sentient beings, okay? This is this is sweet stuff. They're not just your normal robot, you know, blah, 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 blah. They lined up, and apparently the robots got signed in the law a Bill of Rights. So, humanity expect, respects them. They can't be bought and sold. So, no, no more slavery junk, okay? They have rights, too. And he's like, no, no, no. He's like, and then the Institute of Science dude's like, you try to claim him. You're going to be breaking laws against humanity. That's some serious stuff right there. So ask your boys free to buy his way. So overall, this episode had a lot, man. Especially for an Origins episode. Like, this episode was jam-packed with stuff. We saw a lot of cool powers from Astro Boy. Which, I I mean, Astro Boy, one of, I think one of the greatest characters ever created, to be honest with you easily top 50 easily top 50 in fiction um we saw a lot of things you know character characterization character development we see you know a great setup for this world that we are about to enter the artwork was on point the animation was on point solid like i said um and yeah overall i give this this episode especially for it being an origins episode 9 9.5 9.5 it was an amazing episode. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. Nah. But it was amazing. It, it was near perfection. It was near perfection. Some may ask, why do I not give it perfect then? You know, like I said, it was just, it was an Origins episode. And it, it felt kind of rushed a little bit. I understand with the pacing, they did move through a lot of years. It felt kind of rushed, even though it was a lot of content in it. It felt kind of rushed in a couple spots, and that that was just about it. Very very minuscule critique. This is why I give it the grade I do. Nine point five out of ten. Amazing episode. More Astro Boy v reviews to come for show, cause I love Astro Boy. I love the concept, and I'm loving this cartoon. The unexpected wonder, like, comment, subscribe, tell me y'all thoughts. And please, ladies and gentlemen, you watch this video, please go watch Astro Boy 1963, the original. I mean, I got introduced back when I was a kid, how I knew about it, the 03 version. Then I saw a bit of the 80s version, 63, man. Watch it. All right, y'all, peace.